It's Nicole and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally filming it. Welcome to my workout routine. If you guys have been watching my recent videos, you guys know I'm obsessed with the gym. It's like my favorite place. So today's video is going to be all about the exercises that I do, my current split. I'm also going to do like a little Q&A. Disclaimer, I am still very new to the gym and like weightlifting and stuff. So don't judge if I'm doing a workout wrong. I'm still working on it and correcting my form. I kind of just do what feels right for my body and I'm still in the learning process. So just wanted to say that. But here are my fitness goals. Number one, just to like strengthen and tone my body. I'm not trying to be like a bodybuilder or anything. I just want to start gaining muscle. And then number two, just exercising frequently and taking care of my body. That's ultimately why I'm working out, just to like be confident in my body and make sure I'm taking care of my health. That's why I love the gym so much. It's because when I'm here, it's just my time to like focus on myself, not worry about anything else that stresses me out. And I know when I'm doing it, I'm bettering myself every single time. But anyways, my current split right now is leg day and then upper body day. I don't have like a weekly schedule of working out, like Monday, I do this, Tuesday, blah, blah, blah. I kind of just feel what my body's telling me. Like if I'm sore from doing this, muscle group I'll do the other one if I'm sore from both then I'll do some classes that are offered at my gym so it kind of just depends but today I'll show you guys like the specific exercises I do and like how many reps and whatever with all that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's get into my workout routine all right today I'm going to be taking you guys through my leg day here are all the exercises that I do I'll put them on the screen I've kind of just like asked around like my family friends some of the trainers at the gym even looked on social media just for some glute focused workouts and these are the ones that I've curated I try to train legs at least like two or three times a week you girl's trying to grow her glutes if you know what i'm saying <laughs> but anyways i'm so excited and let's have a great leg day all right so i first begin by warming up my legs i do these leg swings and then these like circular movements with my legs i do it on the right leg and then my left leg after but this is just so i can warm up my glutes and get them ready before i start weightlifting. this will also help with muscle recovery and soreness after just overall waking up my glutes and getting them ready for the rest of the workout then i will keep my warm-up going and do five minutes on the stairmaster i honestly feel the burn already just by doing this machine for the first minute or two i'll just walk normally really focusing on putting the weight in my heels so that i feel it in my glutes then for the next two minutes i'll walk towards the left side again focusing the weight in my heels and then i'll switch over to my right side doing the same thing and then for the last minute i'll slow down the speed of the machine and do some kickbacks by the end of this my glutes are totally awake and ready for the next exercise after the five minutes are up it's time to go to weights starting with smith machine squats i've been trying to lift heavier when i do these so i had 50 pounds on each side of the bar and I do three sets of as many as I can, which is usually around six to eight reps. For my stance, I have my feet a little wider than hip width apart, and now that I look back at the footage, I could have strained my legs a little further at the top, but trust me, I'm definitely feeling the burn after these. Excuse me dying just after one set. Next, going into some RDLs. This is the one exercise I feel like I'm still correcting my form even after weeks of doing it. At first, I was feeling this exercise in my lower back, but you should feel it in your glutes. I did three sets of 12 reps, and I'm holding a 50-pound barbell. RDLs are known to be a really good compound pound movement which means they work multiple muscle groups at one time now going into some bulgarian split squats i saw this trick on tiktok on how to set up for these and it's leaning your back leg on the bench then bending into the position while picking up the weights but these burn like no other like on the stairs i'm really trying to focus on putting the weight into my front heel so that i'm working my glutes for these i do three sets of 12 reps and i'm holding 15 pound dumbbells but especially by this time of my workout i'm feeling it so much moving on to one of my favorite exercises hip thrusts i've heard so many people say this exercise is amazing for growing your glutes and i totally believe it because every time i do it it's like a guaranteed burn in my legs but i'm using a 16 pound barbell and i'm doing 12 reps of normal hip thrust first then immediately straight into 12 reps of pulses these feel so good and i do three sets in total okay almost there we're doing some cable kickbacks now first i'm latching the hook to my right leg and i'll do 12 reps in total with 30 pounds and then after i'm done with that i'll switch to my left leg and do the same thing but i'll repeat this process so that i do three sets on each leg in total I really love this exercise as well though. I've been really trying to work on my mind muscle connection So really just focusing on feeling it in my glutes and it feels amazing and last but not least We're doing an ab exercise to finish off our workout These are called knee tucks and i'm using these trx bands to do so Basically, you're in this plank position and then you tuck your knees while engaging your core the whole time These are absolutely killer you guys and they've been my favorite way to end my workouts I'll do three sets of 20 reps and then that completes my leg day. Hi guys. It is now 
the next day. I had a great leg workout yesterday. Definitely felt it in my legs this morning. Wasn't too sore, but it's like a rewarding feeling, so we're good. But today, I'm going to show you guys my upper body workout. So here are all the exercises that I do. Again, these are just stuff I've pulled from like family and friends and stuff online that I've seen. Then I just like try it out for myself and hopefully I'm doing them correct. But if you notice, I don't do like a push day or a pull day. Pushes like chest, shoulders, and tries. Pull days like back and biceps. My fitness goals for my upper body, I don't want to get like too bulky up here. So I only do these exercises like once or twice a week compared to my legs, which I do like two or three times a week because I want to grow those more. But like upper body, I just want to be more toned and like gain strength. So that's why I only have like one full upper body and not like split it up, if that makes sense. I don't know. But I am in such a good mood today. I'm so excited to do this workout. So let's have a bomb upper body day. All right, we're starting by stretching and warming up my arms. Like how I did on my leg day, these movements are just to wake my arms up and get them ready for weights. Then going into some assisted pull-ups. I'm literally so bad at these, so don't judge. But my goal is to be able to do at least one pull-up on my own by next year. So I'm just gonna keep working at these and hopefully I'll get to my goal. Same thing with push-ups. I can do the wide stance just fine. So I did 20 of those, but with the more narrow stance, is a different story. I did some on my knees and then tried to do some normally but completely failed. But again, these are so hard for me at the moment, but I'm hoping if I do them consistently, I'll get a lot better at them and achieve my goals in a few months. Next, going into some lat pull downs. This exercise works your back and lats and it's one of my favorites. For these, I did three sets of 12 reps with 40 pounds. Then I'm doing shoulder press and chest press. These machines are right next to each other in my gym, so it's really convenient to do them right after each other. But for each, I do three sets of 12 reps with 40 pounds once again. Moving on to rows. I don't know why, but I love this exercise so much. Like I look forward to doing them. These work your back and lats and I do three sets of 12 reps with a 40 pound barbell. Then I will go into my supersets. Supersets are a form of training when you go from one exercise into the next without a break in between. So my first superset is bicep curls and then tricep extensions. And then my second superset is hammer curls and tricep kickbacks. So the first exercise is working my biceps and the second is working my triceps. I'll do three sets of 12 reps for each using 10 pound dumbbells bells okay and last but finally not least once again we're ending our workout with some knee tucks i'm usually so dead when i get to this exercise but i love ending my workouts with them so i'll always push through and do my three sets of 20 reps once i'm finished with that that concludes my upper body day workout is complete <sighs> It was really good, but my arms feel like jello. My upper body is so weak still, but we're getting there. Honestly, now that I think about it, maybe I should split it up into like a push and pull day because then I'll do like less workouts, but then like really focus. We'll figure it out. I'll keep you guys updated on that. But yeah, that is my leg and then upper body days. I think tomorrow I'll show you guys how I stay active when I don't go to the gym. And then I'll also film like a little Q&A after that. So see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Today's a new day. It's currently 6.32 in the morning. Today's a Sunday, and I wanted to show you guys how I still incorporate exercise into my day while not doing my leg or upper body days. So there are classes offered at the gym that my mom and I go to, and we'll sometimes take them. It's like Zumba, body toning, spin, a bunch of them offered, and we'll go to some of them throughout the week. But today, I got my parents up and Sadie, and we're gonna go on a little morning walk at the beach. Tony. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> sun rose already, I think like 10 minutes ago, but we're just gonna walk along the strand and then also I think I might do like a Pilates video when we get home, so yeah, that's gonna be today's movement. Currently driving to the beach right now and we're gonna have a great walk. was chef's kiss watching the sun come up and like listening to the waves it was just so peaceful there there's also a bunch of other people like walking running and it's like inspiring and motivating and now it's only 8 30 like it's so so early but i'm gonna do a little pilates video here at home i did this last weekend too just looked the video up on youtube and it's like so convenient and nice but it's good because both my legs and upper body are super sore from the past few days so this is just more like a calmer workout more like an active recovery day okay so Let's search up a video. I think I'm gonna do one focus more on core too. So like I got my cardio, gonna do core today. Then we're hitting like all muscle groups. Guys, this girl literally slays. Her channel's Move With Nicole. We have the same name. She has so many videos. So I'm gonna do, let's see, this 20 minute total core and ab workout at home Pilates. Let's begin. <laughs> Five more. <laughs> Sadie! Well, you can do it. Three, two, 
<laughs> okay, just finished the videos. I ended up doing a 10 minute yoga stretching video too after just because I feel like my body needed it and it felt so good. So we we're done with that. Also guys, look who's sunbathing over there. She kept coming in during my workout and it's because she wanted to sunbathe. Sadie. But now I thought I would do like a little Q&A, just answering some questions about starting my fitness journey because, I don't know, working out lately has just made me feel so good. I feel so happy and healthy, so just wanted to answer some questions. Number one, how did I get started? So I actually had a gym membership at two other gyms prior to this one. The first one, it was like a club and there was like pickleball. It was fun, but I wasn't really using the amenities to my best ability, so we stopped that one. And then I got one at 24, and if you know, you know, 24 is so busy. A lot of boys. <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't really feel like the most comfortable going there plus the parking lot was a nightmare i just never had a really good routine at those gyms so then when my mom told me about this woman's gym we were like okay let's try it just fell in love with it it's clean it's only woman i'm fully comfortable there it's like barely busy when i go really good machines really good classes overall just love it there also i'm not dancing as much which is kind of interesting actually because i feel like some people that watch my channel actually don't know i've been a professional dancer since i was 10 because i never really do dance content anymore on here but yeah i used to dance like 20 hours a week i would go to classes in LA. I was on my high school's dance team, but recently I haven't been doing it as much. So I wanted to start moving my body again, taking care of me. And the gym is like the perfect place, a new love of mine. And I'm just like genuinely excited to go every single time. What are my fitness goals? So I already kind of touched on this in the beginning, but ultimately it's just to take care of my body again, just to move and exercise more. I feel amazing when I move my body. So it was just like a self care thing, but like actual physique goals. I want to tone my body, just strengthen. Cause I've always been on the weaker side. Again, I don't want to get like too bulky up here. I want to grow my glutes because who doesn't want that but overall just like strengthening my muscles and feeling confident in my body how do you get motivated to go i would say having a good pre-gym routine so this could be waking up early putting on a cute gym outfit whenever i put on a gym outfit i feel automatically like motivated to go because i'm like i want to look good in this outfit so let's go get a good workout in also hyping myself up with like music on the way to the gym that just like puts me in a good mood already and also just being aware of like the feeling i get when i'm at the gym and then after the gym i feel so rewarded i'm just treating my body well so just knowing that that feeling of during and after the gym how good I feel about myself that's also motivation because I'm like I want to feel that today but another tip to get motivated to go to the gym is look at other gym creators since I've been working out I've been following so many people on Instagram TikTok YouTube just of people going to the gym it's kind of like when you see someone else cleaning their room it kind of makes you want to clean your room too so when I'm watching these like productive videos of people going to the gym I'm like I want to do that too finding motivation and inspiration online is a really good way to use social media my favorite things about the gym again I kind of already said this in the beginning but I'm taking care of me in my body it's a complete distraction from everything else going on in my life oh you okay <laughs> do you need something i don't i don't know what's going on maybe she wants to go bye <laughs> Like I was saying, it's actually kind of crazy how therapeutic and kind of like a distraction it is when I'm at the gym. Like literally when I'm working out, I don't think of anything else besides what I'm doing. So like I'm focusing on the sets, the reps. I don't have time to think about all the stress that school gives me, college apps gives me, the stress that annoying people give me. Like the gym is my time just to work on me, my body, and my health. Where do I get my workouts from? Again, I've learned a bunch from my family and my friends, also some of the trainers that work at my gym. It was really cool because when I first got my membership at my gym, they offered like a free session with some of the trainers there just to go over your fitness goals and help you with the machines and suggest exercises that you can do to reach your fitness goals. So I met with one of the trainers, shout out to Carly if you're watching this. <laughs> and so on top of the exercises that I already had, she also taught me some new ones and also how to work some of the machines. So it was so helpful. And then also, like I said earlier, I've also learned a bunch from online. It's actually funny because TikTok can be so educational sometimes. Like you can look up anything. Like I was looking up the forum on like lat pull downs and I learned it off of TikTok. So yeah, just using resources online are really helpful too. The music that I listen to while I work out. So I usually just shuffle hip-hop and rap music I need some like upbeat turnt music basically so that I can get through my workout for example I listen to like Drake Megan Thee Stallion Playboy Cardi just artists like that where like the music pumps me up I haven't made a workout playlist maybe I'll do that next but you can also find a bunch of them just like searching them up like sometimes I search up like big booty workout <laughs> and the playlists are so good do I eat differently slash diet now that I work out I think I said this in one of my last videos but I'm trying to still not restrict myself on any food if you guys have watched like my what I eat in a week videos you guys know that I still eat what I want but just in moderation and making sure that it's a healthy amount. I will say though, since I want to gain more muscle, I have been kind of adding more protein to my diet. So like I'm not cutting or not bulking per se. I'm kind of just adding a little more grams of protein so that I can help my muscles. I'm still trying to learn more about nutrition though because I think it's really interesting. But overall my diet is pretty much the same.
same just with a little more protein how to get over gym anxiety i feel like everyone feels this especially when you first start going to the gym you're like worried that everyone's looking at you weird or like judging you i promise it's not that deep thankfully i go to an all-women's gym so like even with that i feel a lot more comfortable but if you think about it like everyone's there for the same reason just to get a good exercise in and to work on themselves so instead of thinking like what everyone else is thinking about you just focus on yourself and your workout and you should be good honestly a lot of people at the gym are really nice too some of them are so down to just like help you with your workout if you're doing something wrong <laughs> i've actually met some friends at the gym i mean they're all like 40 year old moms not complaining though they're all super sweet and again we're all just trying to work out and take care of ourselves so there's no point in like worrying or being super anxious about people judging you for your workout and if people are judging you who cares they don't matter in your life don't talk to them all right last question are you already seeing progress honestly yes i've been working out for maybe like a month and a half two months now and especially like in my arms like i can see more definition and 100 percent it's because i'm starting to weight lift like i've never really been too serious about lifting weights but now that i am and i'm implementing like the right exercises for my fitness goals i actually am starting to see a difference in my body which is really cool and that even gives me more motivation to keep going to the gym but like not only that like seeing it physically but just mentally and emotionally i feel just so much happier and healthier when i go to the gym and like exercising more it's just so beneficial working out but i think that is everything that i want to talk about again i am not an expert in any way about like fitness and nutrition so take everything i said in this video with a grain of salt this is just what has been working for me and what has been making me feel happy and healthy if you have any tips or want to talk about your workouts or how you exercise totally let's chat in the comments we can all talk about how we're taking care of ourselves because self-care on top oh also last thing i didn't say obviously everyone's bodies are different so different exercises are going to work for different people so if you do want to try the exercises i had in this video totally feel free i hope they work out for you and if they don't then that's okay just another one will but thank you guys for coming along with me and watching my exercises if you guys stay until the end of the video comment down below like the weight lifter emoji but that's going to be it from me thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed make sure to like and comment down below subscribe to my channel subscribe to the family channel and turn on all of the post notifications i'll see you guys back with another video i love you guys so so much stay positive bye